Well, Chicago kicked my ass. Previously on 30 and 30, I ventured into the heart of darkness, the lair of the purple incarnation of Satan, Minnesota. And yet, when I emerged, the people were pretty damn great. The fan meetups were incredible, the city was incredibly accommodating, and I may have to admit, I may have even liked it a little. But not too much. Today, we visited the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois, with hope in our heart, no food in our bellies, and three and a half hours of sleep. Okay, it's mid. After successfully navigating the airport and finding the Uber terminal, we made it to our hotel. We checked in super early, didn't have to pay a fee, looking at you, Minneapolis. And we were ready to start the day. Unfortunately, tragedy struck. I was without my Johnny. However, there was another. Johnny Rockford, coming from the mountains of Valhalla, or further in Illinois, came in, helped, was phenomenal. We went to Soldier Field, which was a bit of a pain in the ass to get to, because we booked a hotel at this wonderful pier. That's a boat. Why did we book it near the pier, the most touristy area in all of Chicago? I know that. Well, we wanted to do man on the street interviews, interviewing people, getting some funny reactions, having a great time. That never happened. <laughs> Instead, we finally made it to Soldier Field, ton of traffic, and once we got there, a little bit late, sorry again, we were greeted by an amazing amount of fans who were absolutely incredible. Hi, buddy. And then other things happened. I had to wear a bear's head. <laughs> I keep, it's for charity. the children. It's children. It's children. Don't say it's for the charity, you're not allowed to. <laughs> I had to wear a Justin Fields jersey. So you want me to be like Justin Fields through the past, you're DJ Moore. Go, run. Got it. Uh, Going over. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, oh, sorry, oh, sorry, oh, sorry, oh, sorry. I, I was thinking for like an old Tom Rossi, lines up. Go! And things just got worse. Hey Tom, are you looking for something green? They have green things? Yeah. Is I it, you're like this. Is it Packers? I never... No. Sorry. <laughs> I found one. You see, Chicago was already a little cursed, and I'm not talking just about their football team. Chicago was already cursed because, well, I missed the tour by a day. I said this, the Bears were the number one nicest team to tell me no on this stadium tour. And that was fine. The reason, Taylor Swift. You see, after I announced my stadium tour, it just so happens that T-Swizzle announced hers as well. And she may have done it months prior, but I'm trying to be a victim here. Oh, and did I mention it was also 90 degrees? I, I don't get it. Where's Justin Fields? You see, the goal today was to get all the touristy sites. The Bean, of course, maybe stopping at the aquarium. There was a big fountain, which I wound up seeing. The thing was, at that time, I called Johnny Barks. You see, we were trying to release the very first episode of 30 and 30 today at 5 p.m. Eastern. That didn't happen. And that's not to the fault of Johnny Barks. No, no, no. That's to the fault of literally this planet. But instead I called Johnny Barks and he told me the video was ready for approval and final look through. The problem, I was an hour away walking distance. Problematic. You see, I sent Johnny Rockford back to the room getting a well-deserved break. I said, I'm gonna go out with my camera. I'm gonna be a man on the street and I'm gonna record the sights. And, and that didn't work out well. Instead, we got this. Well, <laughs> It's day three at Soldier Field, and Johnny Barks has been editing all day. We're with Eric Witt. We're crushing it, seeing the sights of Chicago. But we have to upload day one's video. And uh, we, we, gotta, we gotta hustle, so I'm sweating. Joined by the wonderful Eric Witt, we finally made our way back, and things did not get better. 
Instead, it took hours of just going through footage and trying to edit and compress it and make the best content possible for you all. Something that we spent all of this time on. We were super proud of it. And finally, we were ready to render it and upload it. And then realized that our hotel Wi-Fi was five megabits per second. So it took about an hour to upload. And finally, we were still ready. We recorded this moment as we were about to make history. And then we posted it. And then we realized the audio issues. <laughs> See, before we embarked on this adventure, we bought all new equipment because we wanted the very best for this. If we were gonna go to 30 NFL cities in 30 days, I said I wanted the best. And by best, I mean somewhat moderately priced camera equipment, but the lenses are expensive. I like the camera. Thank you. And unfortunately, due to some formatting errors, we just had some glitches in the very first episode. And don't worry, people let us know all about it. And you might think, wow, Tom, that sounds pretty rough, but I'm sure the day got better. <laughs> it didn't. You see, what we've been doing in the best parts of all of these besides the fan meetups have been the in real life raids. Going to small businesses, showing them the support that they rightly deserve, and just spreading chaotic good. You see, I didn't wanna just show the touristy side of Chicago. I wanted to go to neighborhoods. I wanted to help local businesses. And they were all incredibly far away because traffic in Chicago, I found, is not fun. So instead, we spent a good hour and a half just trying to find local businesses to go and support. And by the time we found one, they closed. And so we made the best of a terrible scenario and said, let's do it here at the pier and raise money for a local charity. So at this point, it's later than we anticipated to release the video. It's later than we wanted to do the fan meetup. And I had still not really eaten for the day. But we went out, we did the fan event, we had a nice long stream. We raised over $1,200 for the Anti-Cruelty Society. It was wonderful. Some amazing people came from very far. And at the end of the day, we had some great people come by and it was a blast just spending time with them. We spent a couple of hours at the fan event just laughing, telling stories, asking questions, getting some answers, and we got some great interviews as well. I can't go on like this. That's what you think. Was I sleeping while the others suffered? And then I had some time to eat. And that's when the allergic reaction happened. This big old high that we got here. Yeah, that's a good old allergic reaction there. Oh yeah, come out closer. Let's show the people at home. You may notice right now, maybe my lip is a little bit bigger than usual because I wanted to do something that I had never done as a kid. Because as someone who was allergic to milk, I had never dunked french fries into a milkshake. And when I found a vegan place, I said, ooh, I gotta get that. And I did. And that milkshake had milk in it, like no, like no milk from cows with the udders. So immediately upon dipping my french fries into a milkshake, I said, mmm, that tastes really good. Something's wrong. I'm enjoying this too much. So I spent the past 45 minutes having an allergic reaction and thinking about the day as a whole. And I'm not gonna lie, it was frustrating. It was frustrating because I felt that I did not give Chicago the recognition that they deserved, make the content that I wanted to make, the whole reason that I'm doing this. But then something else happened. I remembered the fan meetups, the amazing people who drove hours to be here, and realized, yeah, today kind of sucked, but you all made it a lot better. And it's not just the people that showed up in person. Instead, we put out a video that had audio difficulties, and yet we were flooded with donations for St. Jude. In fact, currently, as I'm recording this, we are over $61,000. And so while things didn't go the way that we planned or what we wanted or what I wanted to show off for the city and to tell the story of the city, this instead became the story about how the city kicked Tom Grassi's ass and it still worked out. And I don't know, maybe people are gonna be watching this video 
because it's day three and go, how the hell are they gonna survive until day 30? And to be completely honest with you, I don't know. We are running on almost no sleep. We're not really taking any breaks and we're just trying to do the cities, the fan bases and the people justice and show how amazing it all is. Someone at the fan event said, this is revenge for Green Bay kicking the bear's ass all these years. Well, congrats, Chicago. You done did it. I don't know how Justin Fields is gonna do. Don't know what the Bears record is gonna be this year. But I know you got some pretty damn awesome people in this city. And the city's pretty great too. And so round one, it goes to Chicago. And tomorrow we go to Detroit. And the next day we go to Cleveland and Buffalo and so on and so on. And there are gonna be other days like this. There's gonna be struggles, there's gonna be problems that arise that are gonna be too much to overcome. But we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep doing this. And I hope you keep watching. I really think the Bears are the backbone of this city. It is a sport that is very physical, very tolling, very taxing, and I think Chicago's history is the stockyards and the steel mills and the very blue collar background. And there's a part of our soul that is like, we, we've suffered a lot and that makes us stronger and that makes every time we beat the Packers or beat the Vikings or beat anyone yeah. that much sweeter. So if you were to tell someone or try to convince them who is like maybe either, not even apprehensive, just like, hey, why should I visit Chicago? Just once, just come. That's all you need, just once. And it's done. And even though Chicago didn't work out as planned, he's right. Yeah, that, that's where the term I'm standing. Yes. Is. Oh my God. Oh, oh, God. God. I'm testing something. Mm -hmm. You crushed that. A reminder that you can donate via YouTube directly or you can click the link down in the description. Both methods get added together and sent directly to St. Jude. However you wish to support, it is much appreciated. Well, you guys should give us notice when you... Totally up to you. Like, we want to just make sure everything's good.